briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of the United States adjudicated a landmark environmental case in 1994. City of Chicago v. Environmental Defense Fund examined the classification of ash produced by burning municipal waste at a waste incinerator, focusing whether this ash should come under the purview of hazardous waste according to federal law. The Environmental Defense Fund, EDF, initiated the lawsuit against the city of Chicago, arguing that the ash was toxic and needed to be regulated under the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, RCRA. The case produced intriguing results at the initial Court of Appeals level. The court agreed with the EDF stance, ruling that municipal waste combustion ash did indeed fall under the hazardous waste category, thereby subject to regulation. The Supreme Court, however, urged the appeals court to reconsider, presenting the court with an EPA memorandum to consider. Undeterred by the Supreme Court's directive, the Court of Appeals reaffirmed its initial verdict. They legally framed the MWC ash as hazardous waste, choosing to prioritize the clear language of the law over the EPA's interpretation. Arguing that household waste was exempted but not the generation of hazardous waste, the court sided with the initial ruling. Detailed interpretation of Section 3001I of the RCRA and the legislation's prime objectives of encouraging resource recovery and safeguarding against contamination played a crucial role in the decision. The judgment of the Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit was upheld, pressing forth the notion that environmental and legislation complexities sometimes intersect, but the enacted text of the law ultimately reigns supreme. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of climbing.